Hello and welcome! My name is Antilles and I'm here with another tutorial and this time we're taking a look at the Cacti mod. And this mod lets you use orbital telescopes, or telescopes for that matter, to gather signs from looking at celestial bodies. So I've set up a big one here just to show you guys what this mod can do really quick. And we're gonna open the telescope right here and we're going to select one and then going to toggle the GUI. Now we have to direct our camera towards the target and once we zoom in we select the right camera. All of this I will go into detail later and then we can activate it, make an observation and we even get screenshots that you, that are being saved and you can put them like on your desktop or something or whatever and we get signs that we do get to transmit now let's go into more details on the features of the game of the mod and other things all right i built a small telescope right here so there is a mark 1 and there is a mark 2 probe that lets you gather science. This is the Mark 1 and over here you have the Mark 2. The difference being that the Mark 1 is uh, you need to activate the lens pretty much but once you activate it it stays active forever so you can never close it up again. And the important about uh, opening and closing this is that if Let's open the aperture. Whenever you try to look into the sun with a lens this big, it will explode. I will show you guys this later. So you always need to be careful that you do not direct it towards the sun. Secondly, what changes about the Mark 1 is it has already a built-in small processors. And those processors pretty much decide what kind of uh, telescope this is. So yeah, we have the main bodies, which are the telescope itself. You will need one of these. Next thing you should probably put on is some electric charge. I put two of these on here right now. A probe body, of course. Solar panels. Maybe a little bit of fuel to move it around. And if you are using Remote Tech 2, as I am, you will need some kind of satellite connection. Now what comes in special with this mod are two new SAS modules, these gyroscopes and there is a Mark 1, the GRU 1000 and the GRU 2000. Very cool about this is it tells you specifically what they do and as you can see right there it says normal torque, reduced torque and fine torque. Why this is important, um, the reason for that is when you direct one of these uh, telescopes toward another celestial body, you need very, very small increments of change to get uh, everything lined up the proper way. So for this, there is a special way to turn these gyroscopes into normal mode, uh, reduced mode, or fine mode. So when you push your buttons, you only tend to move very slow increments. You get the gyroscope 1000 earlier and the gyroscope 2000 very late in the technology tree. However, more importantly about these is these have uses. Pretty much as you can see, this has a lifespan of 360 carbon days and this has a lifespan of 1416 carbon days. So you need to have some kind of maintenance going up to your telescopes from time to time because you either need to refresh these or you need to uh, change them out. So Kerbal Attachment System, the mod that lets you attach things in space and move them around, is recommended but it is not required. Here we have the Mark II telescope and we have some more bits and pieces that come with the mod. First of all there is the Cacti Telescope Service Bay which can be opened and once you open it the lights turn on and what you see in here is these Cat Guy telescope processor mounts 
and these are important because the big telescope doesn't come with a slot for the processors and you need these processors to pretty much uh, work for the cameras. You need to have at least one of these in there for you to work and there's three different kinds. There's the Cacti Asteroid camera, there's the Cacti Occulation camera and the Cacti Wide Field camera. Now the field cameras are for looking at celestial bodies the asteroid camera is for looking at asteroids and most importantly for detecting asteroids. One of the main features uh, this mod brings is as long as you don't have a, a telescope in orbit that is active with an asteroid camera, you will not discover any new asteroids. I will show you this later. And the Cacti Occulation camera is a camera that lets you uh, observe a certain target at a certain time and more of this I'll show you later. More importantly about this is still that there's three versions of the asteroid camera and three versions of the wide field camera. What they do is um, the version number one only gives you 10% science gain while the version two gives you 30% and the last version gives you 100% science you will unlock these in the tech tree stage by stage and the level 3 ones are very very late in the game. I think they cost about 1000 science and are one of the last things you can research. Now let's get into space. So here we are with our Mark 1 telescope. It has an asteroid camera in here and what this does is if I time warp then you'll see new asteroids being discovered. Without one of these telescopes with this kind of processor in it, you won't be spawning any new asteroids. This is very important to know so you guys don't freak out when suddenly, oh, I don't have any more asteroids. And um, yeah, how this thing pretty much works is we're going to permanently open the aperture. We're going to select a which one is directed away from the sun, or there's actually one behind us right there, let's... Okay, we need to track these first from the tracking station. There, track target, and now we're going to back to our telescope and fly it. Oh, okay, we are back. We're gonna potentially hazardous asteroid. We're gonna set it as target and now we need to look for it. Where is it? Oh, it's the other way. Alright, so we're getting up with our target. We want to open up our UI. There it is. And we're slowly coming into view. What we have installed here is a camera mark one. So we only get 10% science gain out of this. So we have the asteroid camera selected. Normally you can click on this and change to a different camera. And we're gonna activate it. And now we're gonna zoom in. However, first of all, I'm going to rotate this a little bit because we're running out of electricity. Um, toggle the torque of our main probe body and as you can see here these already have started to deteriorate and I'm going to turn the torque on with these turn it on we're gonna go into fine tune and start zooming in and moving our camera closer to the target now keep in mind the controls are a little bit offset depending on how your craft is orientated. But on that, it would work. Now if you can, you see here it's kind of moving around a lot and kind of wobbling. It all depends on how much mass your craft is and how much you're wobbling around. Now if you want to get less wobbling, the best thing to do is press the tab key. Because if you remember this gives you more uh, smaller increments and as you can see I have a lot easier here to get the thing to line up even though at this time of zoom it still wants to 
kind of freak out. So getting these into a really a precise position that you can get a nice picture of it is really hard, especially with such small things as asteroids. Uh, like, come on, let's get this up a little bit. Okay, I think we can zoom in a little bit more. Almost maximum zoom. Okay, we can't really see it because it's an asteroid and it's really dark. However, let's make our observation. And we have science data from the asteroid, which is 6.4. Not much. Now let's get to the bigger camera. Now I brought Jebediah, Bill, and Bob to help upgrade our mark right here. So what we're going to do is, uh, let's have Bob do the job. Going to get out here. And this is why a Kerbal Attachment System is important, because you can change out parts. So we're going to take the Mark II field camera, grab it. Now we're going to go here, and we're going to open container and start in here, but it's too big. Okay, um, let's just drop it then. We'll take the wide field camera Mark III, fly back over, and attach it, hopefully. I can get control right here. Or there we go. So now we have upgraded our camera whoa, whoa, for a celestial body. Okay, I'm really bad at this right now. Bob, come on. Come on. That's when you're trying to be fast and quick about it. So the tutorial is fast, but you don't want to screw things up at the same time. So let's just change out the second part quickly as well, because reason. Here and open container store grab open container. Oh, it was open. Never mind. Store. Oh, we can't start yet. Uh, I need to take the other part out first. Um, cacti camera three. Yeah, let's just have that processor float in space because whatever reasons. And we're gonna store this here. All right. Our mission was successful. If need be, what I can also do is, because we set the gyroscopes for the fine tuning, they deteriorate with time. What you can do is bring new ones and then attach it to your craft. Like this. So yeah, these are the ways you can adapt your pretty much orbital telescope to the way you need it. And um, yeah, let's just take another picture and show you the last two features of this awesome mod. So the third processor is the oculation camera. And once we activate it, as you can see, we have a specific time and specific date and a specific target. So at one year, 89 days and five hours, we're supposed to make an observation of one. So let's skip ahead to that time period. So here we are at the date one year, 89 days and four hours and a little bit. The best way to time these things is if you use Kerbal Alarm Clock and be reminded that this is a date. It's not from the day on that you have to wait one year and 89 days. No, this is the date. So keep that in mind. So let's get rid of this. And we have a little bit to go. I think about five minutes. And you only have a window of 30 seconds to take this picture. So let's select one. And we have the weird target uh, problem again. Let me see if I can fix this. If you have a problem with the UI like I did right here, quick saving and quick loading seems to fix the problem. There we go, that fixed it. Going to oculation camera, activate. And we have Mun as our target. 
going into fine roles. And now is the question, can we already make the observation? No, it says we need to be in the 30 seconds of the target time. So what we're going to do is we're going to add another marker here. And we want to be on the date 89 days and five hours. And we only have a 30 second margin in which we can take the picture. Well, actually, it's one minute, 30 seconds before and 30 seconds after. There we go. Now we can close it. And we target at our targets. They make observation, and there we go. At a specific time and a specific target, we get 192 signs out of this. And I must say, that picture does look rather intriguing. So yeah, that pretty much sums up the mod. Um, I really like it, and I'm probably going to implement it into my Kerbal Space Endeavor <laughs> series. Things to sum up. It's cool. It lets you take cool pictures. It lets you make screenshots. Game-changing things. First of all, you need an asteroid telescope to discover new asteroids. This is a feature, not a bug. Secondly, um, it's cool as it is. And the next thing is you have to be careful to not turn the lens into the sun because then this here happens and the optics is damaged and the processor are fried and you need to send up more missions to repair your stuff so if you have any more questions about the mod i will try to help you as best as i can however i hope you enjoyed the tutorial um maybe help the developer of the mod by donating a little bit. I'm going to put the link for the mod in the description and I will see you guys next time.